Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and just a quick announcement because it's time for this year's Buzz Wordathon and this is hosted by La La from Books and La La and also uh, she is being joined as co-host by Natasha who's from the channel My Reading is Odd and the word this year is lies so any connotation around that so lie lies liar anywhere in the title then you are allowed to use them for your challenges so i'm not going to fully participate in all the challenges if you want to see about the full challenges then go over to either of their channels and you'll be able to find them there but i want to participate in my own way and I've chosen a couple of books with lie in the title so the first one I got on my shelves and I wanted to get through it as one of my old TBRs that I want to get off my shelves this year and it's the truth and lies of Ella Black there we go I don't know if you can see that because it's a bit a bit shiny this is by Emily Barr now um, Emily Barr wrote the One Memory of Flora Banks, if you've read that, that had uh, um, some really good reviews. I've not read it myself. So this one I started yesterday and after I started it, uh, I thought I'll go and look at some of the reviews because I thought I was losing my head because it's a weird one. I have to say I don't particularly like it so far. I might not last the whole time. Basically, we've got Ella who is um, an older teenager she seems to have this bit of a split personality so she does have um, another uh, sort of personality which is really bad and she calls this other personality Bella and she tries to control that without telling anybody she's not told her family and um, I thought this was going to be a really good look at uh, multiple personality disorder and I thought that this would be good rep of that condition and um, especially this is a YA contemporary um, you know I thought this was going to be a really good story I had it out I got this out of one of my book clubs and um, suddenly she's whisked off to Rio de Janeiro by her parents not told why um, there's something strange, I don't know if somebody's after them. In my own view, I'm thinking they might be on a, um, a witness protection scheme or whatever and uh, are being whisked away. But now I've looked at some of the reviews, it doesn't bode very well for what I think it's going to be about. Um, I'm on page 56. There's been an awful incident in here with uh, cruelty to animals, cruelty to a bird, uh, which wasn't very pleasant to read. And, you know, I'm not squeamish being a nurse. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm going to finish this. But anyway, it's got lies in the title. <coughs> the Truth and Lies of Ella Black by Emily Barr. So I found one on my Kindle. And this is, and I'll put a... A picture in here for you to see it it's called the liar's wife by samantha hayes and this has got higher ratings and i just liked the premise of this um a lady is unconscious in a hospital bed and she wakes up and to be told that oh don't worry your husband will be back later now this concerns this particular lady because she hasn't got a husband, she's never been married and um, what the heck is going on? So it sounds like we've got a bit of a, a psychological thriller on our hands here. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I might be getting to that sooner rather than later because as I say I'm not keen on the, uh, the Ella Black one. So that is The Liar's Wife by Samantha Hayes. So a couple of recommendations here that I've read. Lie With Me, that's by Sabine Durant. And this is a story, it's a bit of a family drama with a psychological twist really. Um, the, there's a family that become um, enamoured I suppose in, in awe of 
a family that live nearby, they become friends with them. But they are very rich, this other family, they are, he's a lawyer and, you know, they, they've, they've got, seems as if they've got everything. So they all go away on a summer holiday and everything isn't what it seems. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I don't think you'll see the twist coming. So if you like, um, it's a modern adult contemporary family drama, psychological twist, then lie with me. Good book for you. And then the other recommendation I've got is see how we lie, how they lie. Don't trust them by Sue Wallman. And this is a place called Hummingbird Creek which is like a, a bit of a college, it's um, a residential college but it seems to feel like a cult, it's a bit more, they're very strict the rules. Now we've got May, our May, May, who is our main protagonist, she has to live there all the time because her father runs the place, he's a psychologist, not psychologist, sorry, psychiatrist and uh, I think there's more going on there than, than than May realises and she starts to see the light. There's some lovely uh, teenage friendships in here and also parental control and you know looking at a cult which is pretending to be something different. So yeah I really enjoyed that. So there's two I recommend off my shelves. So that's that's it. That's what I want to read for the Buzzwordathon, and hopefully I'll uh, do a review of those books later on. Bye for now.